Good morning, everyone. MT, morning, Jazz Fran. Good morning, 2020 Bots Room. How is everyone today? Welcome to the new year. So listen, I told you guys I was gonna drop this video on kind of how I'm mechanically trading the charts now and learning the flow and learning how Jazz Fran takes 20 pips on trades and PP and M and how to get in every single one of those moves, right? So M MT plays the videos every day, mixes them up, right? He He's of the mindset that somebody is going to pick something from one person whatever so whatever reason the sad guru is one of these uh, one of the guys that mt showed that kind of really helped me um i listened to him then i went and i went on youtube and i found a bunch of his videos and i listened to him for like a month straight and wow that guy had put some real good good perspective for me but the one of the really the main one for me was was um how you know he creates belief through commitment, right? And so for a committed man, there's no such thing as failure. If you fall down a hundred times in a day, it's a hundred lessons learned, right? So I, I took that mindset to my losing trades and was able to go through and figure out all my trading emotions and what I needed to fix. And I was able to fix everything one at a time. So I'm really on a good path the way that I feel that my trading is going. Um, and so now I'm working on my risk management, my money, my money plan, right? And I've kind of cleared all the main trading hurdles of FOMO and things like that um, through different tricks and tips and things that I'm gonna show you today. Um, but really just kind of listen to this, right? So we all think we're all these super intelligent human beings and, and so why can't we get this system to, to work for us, right? Why can't, why are we having a hard time creating belief in the trading system, right? And so, Listen to this for a couple minutes. Manifest. The whole existence today, modern science is proving, is just a reverberation of energy. Everything's energy. It is a vibration. Similarly, your thought is also a vibration. Your thoughts are vi you our energy. If you thought and let it out, it will always manifest itself. So generally, people are using faith as a means to remove the negative thought. Today, once you have become thinking human beings, your faith is not too deep. Right, we're all so smart. Matter. How much faith you think you have, somewhere doubts always pop up. Right now, the way your minds are made, this moment, if God appears right here, you will not surrender to Him. You will want an investigation whether He is really God or not. With this kind of mind, you should not waste your time on faith. So there is an alternative, which is commitment. Commitment. If you simply commit yourself to creating what you really care for, now once again, your thought gets organized in such a way, there is no such thing as whether it's possible or not possible. There is no hurdle in your thought process. Your thought flows freely towards what you want. What? Right. So I committed to demoing the charts and figuring out how to trade this system, right? And then a couple months ago, Jazz Fran mentioned that he owned 100 trading books, but only read two of them. And one of them was trading in the zone. And we got into this discussion about how you can use mechanical trading to remove fear, uncertainty and doubt, right? Because really, what are the reasons why all the, why do we fail, right? We don't have a strategy, we're over trading, we have poor risk management, poor trade execu execution, and then we simply give up because we can't get any of these things straight, right? Well, I wasn't gonna do that. So not that I came up with a trading system, Jazz Friends, this is Jazz Friends mechanical trading system. I'm just gonna help you from his last video show you where the entries are and how you can trade this system mechanically, make profit every day, and then learn from this and really get your trading um, good. So that, A, you're taking the three, four trades a day, like like Anissa, like Jazz Fran, like all these other great traders and making the, the 30, 40 pips that, that we know are, are in the charts, okay? All right, so we don't have a strategy. 
why don't we have a strategy? Because we're too, we're not focused, right? We're trading too many time frames. We're bouncing on the, the GU, then two seconds later on the UC, then we see the momentum flash on the EG, right? We're jumping between trading strategies. We're not learning to just trade BR style. We're not learning to trade just jazz frame. We're not learning to take one trade a day like Anissa, right? We're doing everything, we're mastering none. So how are we gonna fix this? We're gonna focus on one pair and we're gonna trade one setup. Over trading. Why do we over trade? We have fear of missing out. We're gambling. We're not following the plan. We're desperate for money. We have no patience. We're too enthusiastic, right? We, we revenge trade. These are just things that get activated and things that we need to work on. So how do we fix these? How do we fix these if some of you are struggling with some of that? Well, you need to understand that you only need one trade per day to make money. You need to fix your relationship with money, with affirmations. You follow BRs, one trade a day plan. Guys, that works amazing. That will clear 90% of your patients' problems if you just follow that one thing and take one trade a day, right? Focus on one pair. If you break these rules, punish yourself. Don't, don't, let, don't trade for a day. And then this is the one that I've been doing is that, um, listen, if you make mistakes, type them out in chat. It's it, that right there has been the greatest help for me that I could possibly give a new trader in this room. Okay. Ask for the help. Don't be shy. All right. So this leads me to trading in the zone, right? So I, I watched this, listen to this book probably three times now, go back, listen to different sections, try to implement some of these, these tips and tricks that, that he gives into our chat room uh, with good success too. So so listen to, here's a short summary I found on uh, online. Just a quick four minute video uh, about, just gives a quick uh, video about this book. Hold on one second. The ideas from the book Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. Number one, the consistency that you seek is in your mind, not the markets. Many traders believe the reason they lose money is down to them doing incorrect market analysis. They try to rectify this by learning more about the markets. Right, when studying trading, charts. They should be learning more about themselves. How to fix your mindset. Mark says that most of the mistakes you are likely making in your trading stems from your beliefs about what losing money represents to you. Fixing your relationship with Most money. Most traders find that they can make money demo trading, but can't seem to make money using a live account. Why is that? The switch from fake money to real money is too great for most traders to handle. You didn't care about missing out on potential profits when demo trading. Nor did you care if you were right or wrong on a trade. It is this carefree mindset you need to replicate when trading real money. Number two, de-associate yourself from your money. This is an extremely big issue for traders to deal with. You may have had days when you do everything light. You close your trades at the light time. The trades you press end up being winners and you execute your trading plan perfectly. Now, what if you wake up tomorrow and begin trading when you have had six losing trades the previous day? It is unlikely you are going to be able to follow your trading plan. Here is the lesson. The only way for you to enter the frame of mind needed to execute trades and make quality trading decisions is if you put yourself in a situation where you are always making money. This state of mind where you trade without fear is what Mark Douglas calls the zone. It is the mindset and attitude you have 
going into the trading day that matters most. Number three, trading is a probability game. I reserved this concept at the end because I believe it is one thing that personally changed my trading outlook. Every trader should understand there is a random distribution between wins and losses for any given set of variables that define an edge. You may know that out of the next 20 trades, 12 will be winners and 8 will be losers. What you don't know is the sequence of wins and losses. This truth makes trading a probability game or numbers game. When you really believe that trading is simply a probability game, concepts like right and long or win and loss no longer have the same significance. If you know that out of 100 trades, you are going to win skiste trades, then what purpose does it serve to be scared of losing money? If this video was... Okay, so let's go through that a little bit. Key, the key takeaways. So, again, there's a big difference between demo and live trading, right? So it's easy to, to sit in the demo account and press your buttons and see the market. But when you get live and you start trading with live live money, because the stock, the market has the potential for unlimited wins and unlimited losses, right? So it gets you in a in a mindset that makes you, starts to get you thinking, right? We, and we, that's what we want to try and get you away from that and get you seeing the charts mechanically and knowing when to take take the trades, right? So predicting what a market can do is easy. Executing the trades, a little more difficult. Takes confidence, patience, and discipline to properly execute a trade. We all know that, Anissa said this a million times, patience pays the pips. Switching from demo to real is difficult. Understand that. You can do that, but uh, hey, listen, learn how to dissociate yourself from your money, right? Um, this is, you have to know that you have to accept the risk of the trade. And then trading is a probability game, right? Like you said, you're, of the next 20 trades, you could get 10 winners in a row and you could have, the system could show you 10, 10 losers in a row. We, we know that's not the case, but you understand where, where, where they're coming from, right? Two, forget results and focus on the process. I, this one has been another big one for me, right? I say this to myself all the time. You are not focused on the profit. We're focused on the process, right? We're focused on waiting until we see our three steps and we execute the, tr we execute the trade, right? So instead of system hopping, probably... I was guilty of it. Define your edge and follow the process of skill development and execution. That is going to be key. And then I love this quote. I saw this on on what I fear not the man who has practiced ten thousand kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick ten thousand times. Right. So learn how to see a trade at the top of the one hour band, at the top of the five with the yellow, at the top of the HA with the yellow, with a jazz cross and a momentum flip. Okay, that's what you need to do. You need to practice that 10,000 times, All right? We're, so the three steps for discipline trading is predefining your risk, right? So we have set, stop, loss, and take profit targets. We cut our losses without hesitation. We use a systematic, systematic money management plan. Key takeaway number three. The seven consistency <laughs> principles of consistency. Okay, right. So everyone, we all want to be a consistent trader, right? I want to trade like Jazz Fran. It's what I want. So I'm doing everything I can to try and figure that out. So how has this helped me? Okay, I objectively identify my edges. What is an edge? An edge is nothing more than a simple plan that we use to take every trade. So I get my step one. My trade comes from the one in four 
orange line touch or BB band break. My risk is seven pips. I do not move my stops. If they hits my stop, they did. I act on my edges without reservation or hesitation. We'll show you that in a second. I have profit targets, so I pay myself. I continually monitor my susceptibility for making errors. And then I understand the absolute necessities principles of consistent success, and therefore I never violate them. And what this will do, it will allow you to cut down on a lot of your trades that, that you take because you'll know that if you're not on step one of the plan, you're not, you're not trading your edge, okay? So one more thing. Oh, I, this, I probably should put this one here. All right, and then just the, here are five fundamental truths about trading. Now, this happened a long time ago. I know MT and I have talked about this, but listen, anything can happen, right? We can be in a trade. Donald Trump can send out a tweet and the news can spike, right? You don't need to know what's going to happen next in order to make money, right? Our system kind of tells us what's going to happen next. We just have to see it. There's a random distribution between wins and losses for any set of variables that divide an edge. An edge is nothing more than an indication of a higher probability of one thing happening over another, right? Yes. When it's at the top of the one hour band, when it's at the top of the five, when it's at the top of the HA, and when we get all these things, yes, price could turn on us quickly. It could happen. But the probability says this thing's bouncing to the lower band, right? Just because of the way the markets move and the way our system is, the probability when we get our edge in the in, on the charts, our probability of winning is high. Okay, so this is what the three steps. Now I got this from Jazz Fran, right? A lot of times I I write down everything in chat. I copy and paste chat a lot, and I picked this one up. Now listen, we've had tons of trading plans before, right? A lot of them six, seven steps. I don't know why this three step plan is working for me, but I can honestly say that. It's simple, and it's been working, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to follow both GU momentum boxes mechanically, okay? We're going to take two trades at half max plan. We're going to take one trade. We're going to let that go for 5 to 10 pips, and we're going to let the other one run open take profit until both moms change, okay? That's the strategy. Or you can take two times five pips at the top of the five minute band and when it gets to the bottom, take a two times five on the bounce up. Super easy, okay? And then so we're gonna entry from the three from the three steps with a seven pip stop loss. So just a couple things that I'm gonna talk about here. A um, couple things. So this there's a place on the chart after the initial bounce off the off the top of the HA when it gets to the five minute orange line, all right? Price mucks about there. Jazz Fran talks about it. We're going to show you that right now, right? A couple tips here. Effectively, you'll see the signal because you're against the trend and say, Right, I'm getting out. Okay, but understanding the fact that you're outside on a massive time frame here, you've got a four hour blue and you're outside on a big time frame there. You've got a one hour blue red, you're outside on that time frame there. Right, understanding what that will do, right, that will take price to the five minute BB bonds. Okay, because of the size of these. Time frames that you're outside of. It's not going to be a bounce to there and then go back up. Okay. So that I'm calling that the muck about. When price gets to the five minute five minute band, it mucks about for a while. Understanding the long term signals, understanding where price is going to go is super important. But let's trade this mechanically today and I'll show you what happens. So keep this concept in mind. We're at the, at the five minute road with signals and without, okay? It's concept number one. Concept number two 
is the jazz cross. Okay. Hey, on, uh, I'll show you after this trade. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward for it, guys. But as I said, we're looking for looks right. Big, big, big tip. Hey, guys. Big tip. I'm gonna show you something now. Um, uh, you know, and it doesn't work on its own. It doesn't. You still need the setup. We know the EU's going up. We know the GU's going up. We should be looking for signs of that on five-minute charts. Momentum or HA charts. Now here is um, a little candle setup that I've noticed that is incredible. Once you've got your setup, right, this is a big hint that price is about to turn around. Can you see this candle here on the EU? Right, this long candle. Right. Well, when the next candle, you can see it there. It's just like a little bulgy. Right, finishes just pausing there because we're getting momentum. Right. Finishes, closes like that within the size or the width or whatever you want to call it, there, the length of that candle closes within. Okay, it's a big hint, big tip that price is going to turn. But again, not on its own. You can't just say, oh, it's going to turn. You need the setup. And as we know, EU on the long terms is it's a number one. Okay, we've got confirmation of a 30, a 15. And run the well, well we're through the BB bands here on the uh, five minutes. Okay, so that little setup there is a massive tip. It's a hint that price is about to turn. Right, we wanted momentum. We got momentum. You can wait for a signal. Boom. Don't wait for the signal. We'll get to that. Okay, that's the jazz cross. So we got we learned about the five minute band, the muck about. Go back and watch that. This is the Jazz Cross, okay? Uh-huh. see what else are we talking about here. Hold on one second. Oh, and having a plan, right? So everybody, so I, we just can't say this enough, okay? You've got to have a plan, right? You just have to, right? I mean, here's a guy, practice one, one setup. Just listen, I mean, you go through Google, this stuff, I'm not promoting anyone but just google it and you'll see one strategy land and expand you'll see this all the time right but here just here, here's our master here's our goat our goat Okay, having a plan. <laughs> Jazz fan says it. MT says it. Every single person that you read that when you do trading psychology says it. All right, so here's that's our plan. So let's go through the plan and see how it works. Okay, again, let's let's just go through this. Uh -huh. We're gonna follow both GU box momentums, both of them. Okay. We're going to take two trades, one at, ha at half max, one for five to ten, one for open TP. We're going to trade, we're going to exit as soon as both moms change. So if we're in a buy, we're going to immediately exit, get into a sell. Uh, I'm going to show you how the flow of momentum will get you in every single awesome move. Okay? If you train this, trade this mechanically and then learn it, practice it. Add Jazz Friends tips to it. Now you've got yourself three, four winners a day from the five minute bands, from the top of that or bottom of the HA charts with good golden ticket setups. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this started. So, demo 61. We're just going to do this one real quick. Okay. I'm going to do this. Demo 61. 
You need to pick a pair, whichever pair you are going to trade. We're always picking the GU. Making this as mechanical as possible. Um, I'll show you how it's safe to go against the trend. I'll show you how it's, you know, obviously safe to go with the trend, safer to go with the trend. Um, but if you're going to do this, then you're going to need to, to start off with Stephanie um, Darby. Just put a 10 pip stop loss on for the GU, the EG. All right. So Jazz France trading the the G the the uh, demo sixty one today on this on this video right. I just want to watch a couple pieces of this and then we're, we're going to go ahead and trade this mechanically. Okay. So Jazz France is talking about trading it mechanically. What he's doing is he is getting to the top of the chart. See. Okay, so let me show you that, that move. So first, He's not doing that, so let me show you what, what happens, okay? So we're going to trade the GU mechanically today. All right, let's do this. Okay, first off, I come into the room, right? All right, today we're five minutes early. So straight away... I'm not doing anything till nine o'clock, all right? But here's what I know. First of all, I've got my three steps on my charts, okay? I'm using the, um, the, the, the system that MT uses called Ink2Go. I think it's like 15 bucks, right? Allows you to type these notes on your screen. So immediately I have my three steps. So I know, like when I'm looking at my charts, step one, where am I? Step two, where am I? Step three change my trading okay step one we know since we get our trades from the direction of the one and four orange line touch and bb band breaks we really only have three places on the charts that we take trades from one two or three right are we trading if we're over on the gu one hour are we are we at the top of the band are we at the middle in the at the orange line or are we at the bottom of the bands at the orange line right so what are what's happening right now? Well, clearly it's uptrending, right? Clearly, but getting ready to have a new we're getting ready to have a new signal pop, right? We have a four-hour blue, so we should immediately be thinking, okay, a bounce off the one hour when it touches the line, right? Right? It's not. This isn't quite ready yet. We're in an uptrend. We're above the five minute. We're above the fifteen. Above. 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 Okay, yes, we're getting some signals, but we're in green momentum right now, coming in before 9 o'clock. So why don't we just wait a few minutes and see what happens, okay? So hold on one second. Let me set this up. Reload. Okay. All right. So we immediately come in, right? We know we should be waiting. We're, we're, we're looking for a bounce, right? All the BB band, top BB bands are flat, one th uh, HA through through one hour, right? We're looking for red, mo red momentum here. Now, we're going to get our direction. So we're, we're looking at potentially coming down on this on the next momentum flip. Now, is this momentum flip, is this going to be a complete reversal? No. That's BR used to say that all the time, and I never really could quite grasp my own. No, this is going to be a pullback. Reversals happen when we have lots of strong signals. Do we have lots of strong signals? No, we have actually got a daily up right now. So, so we come in. It's not 9 o'clock yet. Let's see what happens. Okay, see how it spiked? Because you quite you hadn't quite touched the one hour line yet. You were still had some space to go when we entered the room. So now we now we can actually think about potentially getting a momentum flip and getting a good entry. Okay, we're at nine o'clock. Let's see what happens.
Right. So price spike to 90. We now have a golden ticket number one. We have an HA yellow, but what do we have here? Step one, get our direction from online touch, BB band break. Okay, check. Step two, entry off five minute orange line touch or BB band break. Check. Step three, momentum. Ah, oh, we don't have momentum yet. Again, we're trading both boxes mechanically with the golden ticket. You ready? Right. Can you guys see the jazz cross forming? You understand what he was saying now? You get the you're getting price up, right? Pressure. This is pressure. He keeps talking about it because we're breaking so many bands. We're getting the pressure. Right? We got a, five, a one hour blue. We're getting the jazz cross. The only thing we need is more momentum. Now, would jazz could jazz take this at 87? <sighs> I would think he probably would I don't know but it's definitely in our mechanical trading system this isn't an entry yet okay just be be patient with me and, and watch stop 85 okay in this mechanical trading system, with our three steps, step one, get direction from online touch, one hour BB band, one and four hour BB band breaks. Step two, entry off five minute online touch BB band break. Step three, mo momentum, we're in at 85. We're down at 85 right now, times two, okay? Now, where do we think price is gonna go to? We know that price reverses on a four hour blue. That's like our minimum thing. Do we have a four hour blue? No, it disappeared, right? Price is not gonna reverse here. This is gonna be just a small pullback. Where does it pull back to? Well, it pulls back to five and 15 minute orange lines with this kind of setup, right? Or one, four, eight time frame bounces or five minute band to band when they have strong signals, okay? So, we're in at 85. Again, when both moms, when, Look at that. Momentum is not turned on you. Okay? Look at that. Momentum has not turned. We are only exiting our trades. Stop. What is that? Okay, we're at we're at the pot. We're at a, a moving average and an orange line on the HA band, right? We've got a strong number one. The blue has reappeared. Strong signals, strong signals, right? Momentum is not switched on us. Can we leave this in? Well, we could. We could also take out one of our trades, right? We're at nine pips right now. We got in at 85, we're at 76. Why don't we take one off the table now? All right, let's take one off the table. One times nine, one times open TP. Let's see what happens, All right? So we got, we got trade one. Trade one, one times nine. We took a, we took a sell. 
at 85. For 1 times 9, 1 times... One times open, take, take problem. We haven't figured that out yet. Okay, let's go. Okay. We're at 76, 76, 76. Stop. Okay. At this point, you should definitely close one trade. When moms go double like this, where they, where they go opposite each other, that is when I really, really, really want you to close one trade. The other one can be left open, okay? Now, understanding signals here. What happens when we don't have yellows on the five minute chart? You see any yellows here? No. All right. No yellows. Markets run. Yellows. Markets. Markets range. Right. So we're gonna we're we're gonna be under the impression here that this is going to be the first pullback um, off the one hour orange line. And this is kind of where watching some of Jazz Friends videos really pays off because look 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 what happened on the one hour chart. It spiked up. Created a wick. Retrace, touched one hour, spiked up. It wanted to refill this wick and retouch this band and break it. Because what, what happens in an uptrend that makes higher highs, right? So if it's in an if it's we're in an uptrend and we're close to an orange road or BB band, right, to make a new high, it's gonna want to break that band. So it touched it, retraced, and then wanted to touch it again, right? So here we are on the touch coming through. So we're We've got our one times nine. We've got one times um, open take profit right now, and um, we're at a we're at the five minute road. Let's see what happens. There's a potential flip in mom, but this could could. Stop. All right, we're out at seventy seven. We're out at 77. So trade one. Here, let's erase that real quick. All right. Trade one. We were a sell at 85 for one times nine, one times eight. 17 pips. Okay. All right. Now, trade two. Since we're trading mechanically, we are taking this bounce. But, sorry, Pibber, it's a golden ticket. I know it's against the golden ticket. We're going to clean this up later. Take the trade. All right. We're trading mechanically. Trade two. We're up at 77. Two trades. Okay. We got the jazz cross and a flip of momentum. You see this? Jazz cross, flip of momentum. Candle within the candle. Add a band. Momentum flip. We're in. Stop. Okay. Momentum flip. Both again. We're get we're gonna get out when we're getting out with one trade. So we're up at seventy seven. Right. We took a uh, times two. We took a one times 
81.77.4. Stop. And that's at 80. So, and a one times three, seven pips. All right. Let's write that down. Trade two. We had a buy at 77 for a one times four, one times three, seven pips. Okay, and now we're down at we're down at eighty. Okay, we're down at eighty. We're in a golden ticket number one, but we are. Getting momentum, we are getting moment, red momentum, we're getting momentum flipping down on the HA, all right, and we're at a golden ticket number one, so we're down at 80. Momentum is still red. Five minute band is flipping up. We haven't been able to break to 15. There's a flip in momentum. So we're out, we're out that first trade. So we were down at 80. We just took a one times one at 79. Okay. Stop. Okay. So we took uh, an 81 there. So we took a 1 times minus 1. So we broke even on that trade. All right. Trade 3. Trade 3. We were a sell at 80. For a one times one and a one times negative one. So we were uh, zero pips on that. And now we are up at 81. All right. So we got a two times, 80, two times at 81. There's the signal you were looking for. Again, these whites are amazing. Um, I have found that if you are having a hard time sussing out direction, look on the HA chart and see where the last white five is pointing, and that'll give you an idea of where where momentum's headed at that moment in exact time. Okay, so that'll kind of get your get your eyes squared away on okay what's actually happening right now. Uh huh. So again, we got green momentum. We're up at eighty two. Even though this is going red, what are the green momentums doing? We're following these guys. We got our entry here, here, step three. We're getting and following momentum mechanically. Stop. All right. So I'm a one times 81. We're getting out. One times one. One times zero. We're following both moms mechanically.
Look at that momentum. Whew, man, I don't know how I how I saw this or why I saw it or what made me even want to start trading it. But look at this. You're in every move. Look at that. Green momentum. Green, 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 green. You're up at 80. <laughs> That's 10 pips right there. Boom. 10 pips. 10 pip move. Top of the band. Top of the band. Momentum switch. Look at that. Trade four. We were a buy at 81 for a one times zero, one times nine, nine pips. Now we are a sell, we are down at 80. Down at 89, down at 88. We are down at 88. Again, we're following this mechanically. Stop. Okay, we were down at 88. Trade five. We were a sell at 88 for a one times minus two, one times minus two. Minus four pips. Okay. But now we're, we were back up at 88. Let's see what happens. Boom. Zero, zero. Psych number. Huh? We're getting blues on all on all the long time frames. Let's see what happens. We're look does that look like a jazz cross to you right now on the top of the HA chart? Looks like that to me. Mom flip number one. So we're gonna uh we're getting rid of one trade. So we were up at 88. All right, so we're up at 88, and so we're one times, what is that, 99? So that's one times 11. And that is 96. And so that's eight, so 11 and eight, 19 pips. Okay, so we got trade six. Trade six, we are, I mean, so we were a buy at 88 for one times 11, one times eight, 19 pips. Okay, now we're down. I mean, can you understand? Can you see now what I'm seeing? Step one, <laughs> step two, step three, get momentum, right? 
down with the number one, up with the number two, down with the number one. Amazing, Jazz fan. So amazing, mate. It's amazing. Look at that. Six trades so far. Are we over trading? Well, we're following our edge. Our edge is to take all the GU both momentum boxes mechanically, win or loss, and see what happens, right? We've already know that we could have eliminated this last little sell at 88 just by Anissa's fake entry video because we know that when there's room, they need to break the bands. So when price action was sitting here at this candle and it turned red, we know we don't have to take that one. So that's what I'm kind of saying. Like when you follow this, practice this, practice this, follow this and learn the flow and then eliminate the bad trades, which we already know which they are, right? This one was a bad trade. We know it was because we know from Anissa again, from Anissa's fake entry video that price needs to break the band. We know that we need signals on the long-term time frames to, to reverse price. So we know that when there's no yellows on the thing, it, it runs. So these are just pullbacks. But good pullbacks that can be traded smartly. Whew. Okay. Now, I could do this over and over and over again. And I could show you another Demo 59. Demo 59, guys. Okay, just so you know, this isn't all rainbows and butterflies. Price action for the first hour in demo number 59 ranged for an hour. And you would have taken seven trades at minus two pips, right? That screws with your mindset. I get it. But then in hour number 10, in demo 59, it bounced three times for 25 pips each, right? So you took seven losses of two pips. And he took three trades of 75. So this is what this, following this mechanically, will show you how to do. And, and now that maybe if we're doing this, somebody else can look at the other pairs. They can, they can set up momentum, right? I mean, look at the, the GC. Perfect example too, right? So since it doesn't have two momentum boxes, yes, I haven't been following it. I've just been trying to demo this and work on this and focus on this one thing and kick it 10,000 times, right? That's what I'm doing on the GU. But if you don't like the GU, you want to trade the GC, look at where we're at. Look at this jazz cross momentum flip outside the bands. It's, it's like this every time. You cannot not see it now. Step one, we're at the top of the one hour chart with a blue. Step two, we're at the top of the five minute BB band break. Step three, we have a jazz cross with momentum flip. You could start taking those entries, guys, when you're at the bottom and top of these bands, okay? I mean, just to show you again, here's here it is on the downside. So now we're taking it down just to finish this trade out. Look at that. We're at both momentums, okay? There's MT picking it out. Jazz cross, momentum flip. There are your signals. Outside the band, outside the band, you got blues. You got blues. You got blues. You got green. green you got red mom, red mom. Again, we're getting ready to get to the muck about, but understanding the long-term signals and the fact that you're outside the band, you have blues, okay? You don't have to get rid of these trades. Look at this. This is where we were in at 96 or something. Went down to 82. Hit the five-minute band. Only one mom flip. All right, so we get out. So now we're one times, we're at 96. We were at one times uh, seven, one times open take profit. Open take profit. There are the signals that in the jazz, in that video that Jazz Fan talked about. Look at that, guys. And then you get the bounce on the way back up. Right, bef right before it switches. Look at that. Right? Outside the band. We know that one, four, eight time frame bounces are five minute band to band especially with strong one in four signals. Boom, hit the band, hit the band, hit the 30 minute road, signal, signal, jazz cross, mom flip. Okay, practice this guys. This is Jazz Fran, watch his mechanical video. Watch this video on how to get these entries, okay? Do you see it? You see, outside the band, outside the band, blue, 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 five minute touch. Jazz cross, yeah, mom flip, down.
right? <laughs> Mom flip down, right? I would imagine that the EG is the exact opposite since it has both boxes that are both the same. So if you follow that on the EG, I'd imagine you could correlate these two all day and just bang, bang the pips away nonstop. But look, with this trade down, 96 to 71, look at that. Here, trade seven. Let's just put it in real quick, okay? Trade seven, we were, we were a sell at 96, one times eight, one times 96, 71, uh, 96, 71, 15, 23 pips, right? So here you go, guys. We took 17, 7, 24, 0. 24 and 9 is 33. Minus 4 is 29. Plus 19 is 48. Plus uh, 48, 68, 71 pips. Seven trades, 71 pips. Seven trades, 71 pips, all mechanically. Seven trades, 71 pips. Minus, you know, let's say you're taking a pip two pip and a quarter commission on each trade, so that's two and a half, five, seven and a half, ten, twelve and a half, fifteen, seven. Let's say you take twenty pips, you got fifty-one pips profit. Right? One K each. 51k BTT. <laughs> right there. Let's add some smart rules to this mechanical trading. And again, hold through the muck about. Take the trades at the five minute roads. Hold them. And you can make pips, okay? You don't have to system hop. You can follow one system, trade it mechanically for a while, get your mind wrapped around how the flow works. And uh, listen, 2020 is going to be amazing, okay? Hopefully everyone understands what I'm doing here. Hopefully, Jazz Fran, I hope you approve of it, mate. <laughs> and uh, hey, let's go make some money in 2020. Thank you all. Enjoy the video. And I hope I can help. All right.